It's time. It's time. You guys, it's time. We are doing a 24 hour readathon, reading challenge today, whatever you want to call it. And I'm honestly scared. Like, I don't know how well this is gonna go, but it's something that I've wanted to do for so long. And I feel like today is just the right day because I have nothing going on. So we are here, we're gonna try it and we're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna see how well I can do. Um, and yeah, I am scared, but I'm gonna, it's gonna be fun. So if you're new here, hi, my name's Zoe. I'm so happy that you clicked on today's video. Um, I'm going to be reading as many books as I can within the next 24 hours or so. I am going to be doing the timer method and I'll just pause it as minimally as I can. And if I need to sleep, I'll just sleep for like a few hours so that I can finish this in as close to a 24 hour period as possible. I would say as far as reading speed, I'm like an average speed reader. Like I'm definitely not fast, but I wouldn't say I'm slow either. The one thing that always messes me up is I have a very short attention span. <laughs> I just like cannot focus for very long and also I fall asleep really easily when I read especially at night so that could end up messing with me and my progress a little bit but in the end I see people do this challenge and read four or five six books I'm not gonna worry about that if I can read more than one book I'm gonna be happy like that's my only goal is to read more than one book so I'm just gonna show you guys what books I have picked to tentatively read I definitely do think book choice can make all the difference when you're trying to read quickly obviously because if it's not something that you're vibing with you're not gonna be able to speed through it so I've been very careful about the books that I chose and I will just show you what they are so first I have love theoretically by Ali Hazelwood I have actually not read an Allie Hazelwood book, but everybody's been reading this and just raving about it. So I think it could be good and I think I could probably speed through it because romance books typically don't take too long to read. So hopefully I could speed through that. Then another romance that I have, I have The True Love Experiment by Christina Lauren. This one is 400 pages, but the font is absolutely giant. I don't know if you can see that, but it's huge. And I typically do fly through Christina Lauren books. I love their books and I'm always able to read them fairly quickly. So I think this one could be a good option. I have The Only One Left by Riley Sager. Riley Sager is hit or miss for me, but his books that I do enjoy, I am able to read so quickly because they are just so gripping. So I think I could read this one quickly. It is a little bit on the longer side, but I think it could be a good choice, especially because thriller books are always good to fly through because like all the, the cliffhangers and everything make you want to keep reading. So that's definitely an option. And then the last library book I have is Camp Zero by Michelle Min Sterling. I actually don't know what this is about other than it being science fiction, um, but I do know that it is less than 300 pages. So I thought it would be a good choice because I want to read this and I need to return all these library books soon. So I figured they would be good to read for something like today. And then on my Kindle, I have The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood, and that's actually due in two days, so there's a good chance I'll read that one. As I said, I've never read an Allie Hazelwood book, but I definitely think I could read that pretty quickly, so that's a definite choice. And then I have two books that are on my physical TBR that are definite options. So first I have Good Girl Bad Blood by Holly Jackson because I really want to finish this series and I flew through A Good Girl's Guide to Murder in a few hours, so I think this would be a great option. And then finally I have The Maidens. I'm not even going to attempt to announce this author's last name, but I loved The Silent Patient and flew through that one as well, so I think this could be a really good option, especially because again these are both thrillers, mysteries, so I could probably fly through them because of all the cliffhangers. So those are all my book options that I'm looking at. Of course that could always change. I could choose something else if I feel like I'm in the mood for it, but I do feel like I have a good selection here. So with that being said, it's time to get started. It's currently 848. I'm going to start at nine and read as much as I can for the next 24 hours. So when it's nine o'clock, I'll check in with you guys and get started. Okay, so it is nine o'clock. I decided I'm going to read The True Love Experiment first, and I just turned on a playlist for the book, so hopefully that will help me stay focused. But I'm going to start the timer, and let's go. Okay, 
so we are officially one hour in and I have gotten to page 80 in the true love experiment I'm on chapter 11 and so far it's really cute it is a technically a sequel it's an interconnected standalone after the soulmate equation and i loved that book and so far this one is so cute because fizzy from the soulmate equation is my favorite character from that book so it's really fun to be reading her love story and basically in this show she is being cast as the star of a reality dating television show um and it's just so cute so i'm excited to keep reading and i'll check in with you guys at some point but hopefully i can finish this within the next few hours So I am five hours and 11 minutes into this challenge and I just finished my first book. I finished The True Love Experiment and I don't want to go into too much detail about what I thought because I want to save the time to just read right now. So I'll just talk about all the books that I read when I'm done. But I will say I really, really enjoyed this one more than I thought I was going to. I thought it was so cute and I have a lot of things to say about it. So really enjoyed that one. I don't know what I'm going to read next yet, but I am going to go make some lunch. So I have the timer paused right now. I'm going to go eat really quickly and decide on my next book and then I will come back once I have decided what I'm going to read. six hours in and I'm reading The Only One Left by Riley Saker and I'm starting to get a little sleepy so this progress is much slower than the other book was but I'm still making progress. I'm 56 pages in and I'm just gonna keep going as long as I can. <laughs> time we are officially eight hours into this challenge so we are a third of the way and I'm feeling pretty good about it I have lost a little bit of time throughout the day by pausing the timer to like eat and things like that but so far I feel like it's going pretty strong um right now I'm on page 167 of the only one left literally forgot what it was called which definitely means that my reading has slowed down over the last few hours because I've been reading this one for almost three hours so definitely not making it through this one as quickly as I did with the true love experiment but the font in this one is a lot smaller and also I kept um kind of dozing off a little bit at certain points because I was just starting to get a little bit tired and this one is really good it's like very much a thriller so it's like lots of cliffhangers and stuff making me want to keep reading but I think just maybe the like dark atmosphere was making me feel tired if that makes any sense I don't know but um I'm gonna keep reading for now I'm gonna stop in a little bit to have dinner but for now I'm just gonna keep reading and see how much further I can get this one is about 380 pages so we are making progress but I do still have quite a bit left but we shall see how far I get in the next couple hours so I'll check in with you Probably when I'm done with this book is what I'm thinking. So I'll see you then. in and I'm on page 
312 of the only one left so i have like 60 ish pages left so i'm gonna sit here and finish it hopefully finish it within this hour and then move on to my third book and i'm honestly really impressed with how this is all going i did not think i would even read two books like i did not think i would make it this far but it's 8 57 right now so hopefully i'll finish this before 10 o'clock that's the hope this just got so crazy like a jaw dropped like it was so crazy so i need to go continue this and figure out what else happens because this is actually getting so good and i need to know how it ends so i'm gonna go finish it right now okay so it has been 11 hours and 28 minutes we are that far into this challenge i don't even know if you could see that but um i did finish the only one left by riley sager and it was so good not gonna lie i was getting a little creeped out because it's nighttime and i'm like alone and it was just getting very unsettling but i did really enjoy it i'll talk more about it at the end of the video but now i am picking up my next book i did just take a little break to like take my dogs outside and get ready for bed just like so i don't have to do that later but I think I'm abandoning all of my book options because I think instead I either want to read What I Carry by Jennifer Longo or One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I just feel like both of those would be really easy to speed through and they just sound like something that I'm in the mood for right now. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. I think I'm going to start with What I Carry by Jennifer Longo and if I'm not feeling it, I'll switch. And then if there comes a point where I want to just like lay down in bed and not hold a physical book, that's when I'll switch over to The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood, which I am actually already 8% into. So I won't be starting from scratch with that one. But that's the plan. I'm going to start What I Carry by Jennifer Longer right now and see how far I can get. It is 10.37 p.m. Um, and I'm actually not feeling that tired right now, surprisingly. So I think we're on a roll. I think things are going pretty well. How much longer until I start to fade? I don't know, <laughs> but for right now, things are great. So I'm just gonna keep reading while I'm able to and see how late I can stay up. Hopefully a lot longer, I don't know. So I just figured I should update you because I am officially halfway through this challenge. I'm at 12 hours and 24 minutes. So we've made it halfway. That's great news. I am reading What I Carry. I showed you that. I'm about 56 pages in right now and I really like it so far. I find our main character really fun and I also find myself relating a lot to her in ways that I wouldn't expect to but I am falling asleep as I'm reading this. So I think I'm gonna like stand up and walk around as I read a little bit because I don't wanna go to bed quite yet because it's only 11.30. So I'm gonna stand up, walk around. Hopefully that helps me a little bit. Um, but I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be able to stay up. I really wanted to stay up late. I slept in this morning and everything and it's just not happening. I'm gonna go keep reading and hopefully make it at least like 14 hours that would be great like another hour and a half that would be amazing but we'll see just falling asleep i did switch to the love hypothesis just to not have to hold a physical book i walked around reading my physical book as long as i could 
and got to page 97 and then put it down. And now I'm reading the love hypothesis and I just keep falling asleep. So I really wanted to make it later than this. The next update might be tomorrow morning. I felt so good the whole day and now I'm just drained. So what can you do? But I am 13 hours in, so I'm at least happy about that. Good morning. It is the next day. I ended up getting to 14 hours and 2 minutes, if that wants to focus. And then I slept for like 3 hours, so now it's 6 o'clock. And I'm ready to continue this because I do have 10 hours to read, so this is going to take me the majority of the day still. So I'm on page like 130 in what I carry, so I'm going to go continue that. And then I'm probably going to read The Love Hypothesis after that, which I did read a little bit of last night before I fell asleep, as you saw. Um, yeah, so let's start with what I carry and see where we get. And I do need to make sure that I finish this in a timely manner because I do have a job interview tomorrow. So was this a good idea? You tell me. Okay, I'm gonna go read. looking rough but I'm leaving the sunglasses on because I don't even want my face to be seen right now but I have been reading for about two hours it's 8 11 right now so I'm like a little over 16 hours into this challenge now and I needed some coffee I needed some caffeine to help wake up so I'm going to Starbucks my dad's inside the store right now and then we're going to get some coffee and I'm just reading in the car as we're driving and stuff so currently I'm reading the love hypothesis on my kindle I'm 36% of the way through and it's actually so much cuter than I thought it was going to be. I did not think I was really going to like this book, but I'm actually really enjoying it. So I'm going to keep reading, get my coffee. I'm very excited about it. And then we're going to knock the rest of this challenge out and hopefully get at least one more book in. I'm hoping to at least finish the love hypothesis. We'll see what happens. update time. I am 19 hours and 54 minutes into this challenge and I just finished the love hypothesis which was really cute. Um, I really did not think... Okay, you good? Okay. I didn't really think I was gonna like it very much and I like kind of avoided that book for a long time but I'm kind of glad that I read it because I thought it was a good time. So I'm going to go continue What I Carry by Jennifer Longo because I'm about halfway through that one. So I'm gonna finish that. And then we will choose one last book to at least start reading and close out this challenge. So kind of excited that it's going to be over soon because I am getting a little tired, but I'm proud that I made it this far and I'm just going to go knock out these last four hours. I am exactly 22 hours in and I have to be honest I kind of regret choosing to do the timer method for this because I am <laughs> I'm struggling I'm struggling to finish this um I thought doing the timer method would be better because I could you know take breaks when I needed to and stuff but at this point I'm just wishing that I had just read straight through the 24 hours and gotten it done um <laughs> I'm just not feeling like I can do this, but I, I will. Two hours, I can do that. So I'm going to finish what I carry right now, and then I think I'm going to end this really strong by continuing fourth wing. I'm like a couple hundred pages into it, so I'm just going to read that until we're done, and I'm just really looking forward to being done at this point. So I'm going to go finish my book, continue fourth wing, and I will see you in two hours when I'm done, and hopefully the next two hours fly by because I... 
Why is this so hard? I did not think this would be that hard. Anyway, I'm gonna go read. I'll see you when I'm done. like going to cry at the end um that was just the sweetest little emotional heavy hitting YA book it was exactly what I needed right now um I just loved it so um I'm gonna be thinking about that for a while but um I have an hour and 13 minutes left so I'm going to read fourth wing and finish this out strong I made it to 24 hours exactly I don't know if the camera okay I made it to 24 hours exactly and I'm feeling relieved <laughs> I'm so happy to be done like going into this I had such high expectations I was like this is gonna be so much fun like I'm just gonna have the best time doing the timer method because it's gonna be like stress-free I won't have to worry so much about like reading long periods of time but honestly, I feel like the timer method was maybe a little more difficult than if I had just read for 24 hours straight because by the end, I was struggling. Like I did I did not want to keep reading by like the last couple hours. I was just so over it, but I did it and I'm so happy about it. I did end up reading four books and then like a few pages of another one. And just coincidentally, all the books I read were really good. So I love that for me because as I said at the beginning of the video, book choice I feel like has such a big, makes such a big difference. So I was really hoping that I would like the books I read and I did. So let's go through what they all were really quickly. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I do wanna talk about them in my wrap up, but just gonna quickly say what I thought. So first I read The True Love Experiment by Christina Lauren. This is Fizzy's book from The Soulmate Equation and I love Fizzy and basically you follow her on like a reality dating show like The Bachelor and this was so much fun. I loved Fizzy's character, the romance was so cute, the reality show thing was actually really fun and Fizzy is hands down like the cool aunt like she's the aunt that everybody wishes that they had and so that one was just really fun I'm not gonna give like star ratings because I don't know when I'm rating them yet but then I moved on to The Only One Left by Riley Sager as I said Riley Sager books are very hit or miss for me but this one was really fun it was really spooky especially because I read a bit of it at night and I just felt really freaked out also this one was really giving Verity for a good amount of it um which is fun because I feel like you don't read very many books that are similar to Verity that book is just really out there very different as far as comparing it to other Riley Sager books I would say it's the most similar to Home Before Dark but yeah really enjoyed that one and then I kind of got to where I was switching between two books just trying to read whatever I was in the mood for at that moment so first I'll talk about the one that I finished first I ended up reading The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood on my Kindle this was the one Kindle book that I read and I'm not gonna lie I do feel like it took me longer to read a book on a Kindle and normally I feel like it's the opposite but I felt like it took me so long to read this book but I read this one really really cute I never thought I would read an Allie Hazelwood book and now I want to read all of her books this one was just so cute all I knew going into it was it was a 
women in STEM Star Wars fan fiction type thing and I just really really enjoyed this one. I loved Olive and Adam and I will definitely be reading her other books now. And then I moved on to What I Carry by Jennifer Longo. This is just your like typical emotional hard-hitting contemporary YA book. It was like very sad at times but it was also so so sweet. The end was literally so precious. I was tearing up. Um, I just had the best time reading it. It was exactly what I needed in the moment so I'm very happy that I picked it up and I think more people should read this one because I've only heard about it from my friend Allie and it definitely deserves more hype. So I read that one and had a great time. And then I finished this challenge just reading like 40 pages of Fourth Wing because I am slowly making my way through this. I wanted to just read the rest of this for the challenge, um, but I wanted to like read full books during this video. I didn't want to start anything that I was already in the middle of, so that's why Fourth Wing was at the end because I also at that point with only an hour left didn't want to start a new book, so Fourth Wing came into play there, but really happy with all the books that I read. I did add it up and I read about 1500 pages in this challenge which is mind-blowing. I was genuinely gonna be happy if I read like one and a half books, like anything more than one book. I was gonna be happy. I did not expect to read over four books. Like that's actually so crazy to me and I'm really happy with how it turned out. With all that being said, am I happy that I did this video? Yes. Do I think I'll be doing this challenge again? No, absolutely not. At least not in the same way. If I ever do it again, it will be like some sort of twist on this where it's not what I did because it was <laughs> torture by the end. Um, no, not torture. That's being we're being traumatic here. But it was it was it was rough. Um, but I did have a good time doing it for the most part. I really enjoyed the books I read, so it's not all bad. Um, and I hope you guys just enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was entertaining in some way. I'm going to go take a nap. And try to recuperate because that took me about 30 hours and I got I think three and a half hours of sleep total and I have a job interview tomorrow so I need to go recuperate so I'm gonna go do that thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one